Oh, oh, uh, good evening guys. <coughs> this is Professor David J. De Los Reyes. Uh, this is uh, something like in the troubleshooting of, uh, it's not troubleshooting, my experience in the troubleshooting of analog TVs uh, before. Uh, maybe past years ago, maybe five years ago. Now, uh, <coughs> we use uh, what you call this, the LED TVs. The voltage is not so high. Unlike before, the voltage is something like in the range for picture tubes. In the range from 25 to 30,000 for smaller TVs. For bigger TVs, maybe 35 to 40,000. Uh, I just want to show you on how to what you call this uh, work safely on the so-called handling of picture tubes. On the old days, <coughs> before uh, troubleshooting on the high voltage side, uh, we use this thing here. This is the so-called uh, uh, short circuit thing. Uh, this is a wooden thing, so actually <coughs> If you try to hold this one, you are separated from this one because uh, a dry uh, wood is actually uh, an insulator. It's not a conductor. Okay, uh, it is the same as this one here. Okay, because uh, the one in measuring voltage or uh, a high voltage of a picture tube is this one. This one got an ice pick at the top uh, top portion here. There is an ice pick over here. The pointed thing. This is the voltmeter, okay. And uh, this portion here, you connect this to. Okay, I will try to discuss the illustration here. This is a big TV. This is the back thing, the uh, back portion. This is the picture tube, right? There's a, there's a plumper over there, which is a rubber cover. And the one inside is uh, actually the one that uh, try to lighten up the picture tube inside. In the old days, uh, there are three electrodes over there. It is something like uh, the red, green, and blue, something like that. Because the combination of red, green, and blue actually, actually will be white. So the voltage operating the high voltage before for analog tubes is in the range 25,000 to 30,000 for smaller tubes. For bigger ones, maybe 35 to 40, because I have tried measuring those voltages before. And the proper way to measure is actually this one here. Uh, someone commented on my short video that this is a plunger thing. This is not a plunger thing. <laughs> this is not a plunger thing. This is the one for measuring the high voltage of a picture tube for analog TVs before. Okay, this goes to the ground. This is the ground portion. This is the power supply circuit. I, I, I just make a, what you call this, a simplified uh, power supply. The simplified power supply is actually comprises of a diode and electrolytic capacitor. And this should be line number one and this is line number two. That's why in the old TVs before, uh, there are no, what they call this, uh, there are uh, no transformers, okay? Your, uh, the inside of the TV is actually directly connect, connected to line number one and line number two coming from the utility line. So if you try to hold something here, like this electrolytic capacitor, something was laughing at my, what they call this, uh, short video that to discharge this electrolytic capacitor is to use your tank. That's foolishness. Okay, the proper way to discharge an electrolytic capacitor is this one here. This is the short circuiter. You put this one on the ground, okay, this is the ground portion. And the pointed thing is this one here. Try to short it out before touching this one. Don't use your tank, that's foolishness. Okay, that's the way how to discharge an electrolytic capacitor. Because if this is directly connected to line number one and number two, this might be in the range uh, 450 to 600 volts. And if, if there are residual voltages over here and you accident, accidentally touch it, okay, you will get that key. Okay, so it's no foolishness that to throw up to what you call this to short circuit an electrolytic capacitor is to use what you call this your tank. That's foolishness. 
Uh, because uh, I try to bring out the video to emphasize on this one. This is not foolishness. Try to shoot it out before touching the positive and negative thing. And to measure the voltage on the, what you call this flyback. Flyback, the one that uh, powers the picture tube. Okay? You use this one. Okay? This is something, uh, this is an insulator thing. It's not a plunger, okay? You, you put this on the ground. And you put the tip of this one on the underneath the rubber thing on the picture tube. As soon as you put it under the rubber thing, okay, it will spark blue. It's blue. Uh, the color of the spark is blue, meaning it's really actually very high voltage. And sometimes if you try to measure this one, uh, as a roll in troubleshooting, just use one hand while uh, what you call this while uh, uh, measuring this one just use one hand and your other hand is at your back because uh, you are avoiding the so-called complete continuity on your body just use one hand plus uh, wear a rubber shoes also so just in case you're accidentally electrocuted on one hand okay and uh, you wear a rubber shoes okay it's not a complete circuit uh, maybe the current will go to your body, but uh, you will not get killed. That's the proper way. That's why in measuring the voltage, okay, just use one hand, okay, and your other, uh, what do you call this, uh, your other hand is at your back. This one, uh, the meter is at the table, so you're not holding this one. Because as soon as uh, you connect the ground over here, uh, you're not hand uh, handling it anymore. And this one is on the table, and to measure the voltage, and to measure the voltage, just use one hand. Try to poke this on the underneath the rubber, but the other hand of yours is actually at your back to avoid uh, of yourself being electrocuted. This is 25 to 30,000 volts. Okay? Even though the TV before is not yet plugged in, uh, it's not plugged in anymore. There are residual voltages on the flap of this rubber cover here. So, for those who are troubleshooting analog TVs before and they don't have the formal education, there is a chance that they will get killed because uh, they might be handling high voltage and they don't do it. Okay? That's the output of the so-called flyback. Flyback transformer is actually the high voltage transformer. That's the one powering up the picture. And the proper way to measure it is actually connect this on the ground. Okay? Put the, uh, your meter on the table, okay? Then use so one hand only, one hand. Just use one hand, okay? Your other hand is at your back to protect yourself from being electrocuted with the 25 to 30,000 volts, okay? And uh, don't touch anything on the TV, much more by, by using your left hand because if you, are try to, if you try to poke this one in your hand, you're handling the TV like that, there are some metal things on the TV and uh, you're killing yourself because uh, once uh, the current goes to your right hand, it goes to your heart, okay? It's a complete circuit. That's why there's a saying that uh, why do birds uh, uh, step on the power line and they are not uh, being electrocuted? They are not being electrocuted because the circuit going to their body is not complete, okay? The voltage in the power line is actually, the voltage on the two feet of the bird is actually same voltage, so there is no current going to the body of the bird. But in here, in the measurement of the TV, avoid uh, handling the TV with your left hand and you try to poke this one with, your, uh, with this thing. This is not, not a plunger, guys. <laughs> this is for measuring high voltage. Okay? Avoid doing this one. Your other hand should be at the back. So the importance of this one, for those who are laughing at my uh, YouTube shorts, this is not plunger. This is for measuring the high voltage for analog TVs. Okay? And the proper way how to discharge electrolytic capacitor for analog TV support is by using this one. This goes to the ground, and this uh, pointed thing here goes to the passive terminal to short out whatever residual voltage that uh, remains in the electrolytic capacitor. What you are saying guys that uh, you use your tank for measuring, uh, for shorting out the 
capacitor, uh, that's uh, foolishness. Okay. So what I am teaching here is uh, for your own safety. So for those who want to learn something, uh, uh, it's not a crap. This is a real thing. I've been troubleshooting for more than uh, 10 years. So I, I know what I am saying. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, that's how to measure the voltage for the picture tube uh, voltage at the back of the analog TV speaker and the proper way how to discharge the electrolytic capacitor. So before, if you then study troubleshooting and you try to do something inside the TV, you might get killed because you don't know which are high voltage over there or which part uh, does have a residual voltage. The one that does have a residual voltage is the electrolytic capacitor. Uh, the ele electrolytic capacitor for like it's just like in the air conditioner. The electrolytic capacitor for air conditioners is something as big as this one. So just in case you're troubleshooting uh, an air conditioner, avoid uh, handling the tip of the plus and minus. Uh, the proper way to handle the electrolytic capacitor, capacitor if uh, the plus and minus is exposed, try to short it out using a screwdriver. But uh, for televisions, we are using this one. Okay, I made this myself. This goes to the ground, and the other side goes to the passive thing. So you will remove whatever residual voltage before troubleshooting inside the TV. That's the proper way on how to troubleshoot inside the TV. So for those who are troubleshooting without the formal knowledge, it's very dangerous. What I am seeing now is uh, a real example. Okay, uh, this is for you guys. Uh, good evening, Los Angeles.